Fister Comet SR is out now, plus there is money and RP bonuses along with uh, the Avenger discounted and more. We're going to check out the Fister Comet SR in just a moment, but first we're going to go over this article from the Rockstar Social Club linked below in the description section. First off, the uh, bonuses. Starting today, February 27th through March 5th, if you're logging to Grand Theft Auto Online, between uh, February 16th and the 26th, be on the lookout for your 2018 San Andreas State refund. I uh, see that is going to be $250,000 and the 10% rebate of up to a million dollars uh, going to be hitting your May's bank account sometime before March 6th. I had a lot of people asking me during my Grand Theft Auto 5 PC live stream yesterday about that. So starting today, that's when the refund and the rebates are rolling out. But you may not necessarily get yours today, so it could happen anytime between today and March 6th. So don't panic if you don't get it today or tomorrow. Hopefully you'll get your refund and your rebate in your May's bank deposit by March 6th. In addition, there's uh, some other ways you can earn double money and RP. Uh, gun running cell missions, special vehicle missions. Those are both double money along with the air quota adversary mode. And you can also earn double money, double RP, doing Rockstar created transform races. So this is the way this week to make some money in Grand Theft Auto Online. Once again, double money with the uh, gun running cell missions, the special vehicle missions, air quota adversary mode, and Rockstar created transform races. In anticipation for the next update, which could be coming very soon. Vehicle discounts, the Mammoth Avenger, 25% off. The Laser is finally discounted at 25% off as well. So those of you that have been waiting patiently for a drop in the price regarding the Laser, it is now 25% off for this week only. The Velato is also 25% off. That is the buy it now and trade prices. The Western Company Seabreeze is also 25% off that version. Buy it now as well as trade price 25% off for all four of those aircraft. Facility upgrades, facility style, as well as facility graphics and the security room, all of which are 25% off. The mobile operations center cabs are 30% off as well as 30% off buy it now trade prices for the insurgent pickup. The Night Shark is also 30% off along with the Yosemite. That's 25% off. And the Riata is 25% off as well. And finally, the Premium Races City Air and Time Trial Vinewood Bowl. All right. So there you go. That's all the uh, discounts going on this week along with uh, the opportunities for you to make uh, double money in the game. And now we're going to go check out the Fister Comet SR. First there was the Comet, then there was the Comet Retro, then there was the Comet Safari, and now we have the Comet SR. That's right, the brand new sports car in Grand Theft Auto Online, the Fister Comet SR, the last vehicle in the uh, Doomsday Drip Apocalypse thing. So, for $1.1 million, you can get another Comet. Yay. Forget everything you think you know about the Fister Comet. Forget cruising through Vinewood with a belly full of whiskey, dropping one-liners about the size of your bonus. Forget picking up sex workers and passing them off as your fiancé at family gatherings. The SR was made for only one thing, to make every other sports car look like it's an uh, asthmatic kid in gym. Now get in line. Now the real question is, is this last part a bunch of bullshit? We'll see. Okay, so, as with tradition... I'm going to go with uh, my channel colors, because why not? All right, I'm going to drop that car right here. $1.1 million. So what we're going to go do is we're going to go uh, check out the looks. We're going to upgrade it. I'll drive it around for a little bit and give you guys my impressions. We're going to do some side-by-side -side stack comparisons between it and the Pariah. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts regarding the Comet SR. All right, there she is. The Comet SR. The question you're probably asking, how does she hold up against the Pariah? Well, we can't do the side-by-side -side stack comparisons just yet because she's not even fully upgraded, but we can check her out. Let's have a look at her. All right. I mean, she looks sexy. She has a nice sporty look to her. I like the look. Because I'm a Porsche guy, I do like Porsches. I also like Beamers. Uh, and Lamborghinis and McLarens. <laughs> All right, so the, in the interior is nothing really special. It's a standard uh, interior with the uh, 
Pfister logo on the wheel, so that's nothing special right there. But let's go see how this baby looks and all the mod options she has over at Los Santos Customs, shall we? All right, time to check out the Fister Comet SR. It is a sports car, FYI. So we're not going to worry about the armor. You know what? Let's just go ahead and fully upgrade everything for this test. I think that's the best thing to do. So we're going to do the engine. Full engine upgrade because we need to see how she performs. At least I want to see how she does going around the map. And you also we want to see her stats, right? We want to check out her stats. All right, so the suspension, do that. And uh, then the transmission real quick. And then turbo. Okay, we got that. Okay, so now let's go look through the uh, customization options. The front bumpers. Uh, There's three different front bumpers. The uh, primary, the uh, secondary, which is probably tied into the secondary color, as well as the competition splitter. I don't like that too much, but, you know, teach their own. Now, I kind of like the uh, secondary splitter. That's okay. But, I mean, like... You probably would be okay just sticking with stock because stock looks like it's the same color as uh, secondary. But I mean, that's if you wish secondary to remain like black with the color I went with. So in my regard, I'm just going to save $7,000 and just stick with stock. All right. So rear, rear has two options, the rear primary, the rear secondary. And once again, I mean, there is obviously a, a little bit of a difference between the stock and the secondary, but... Anyways, I'm not too concerned about the uh, bumpers. They're nothing special. The chassis. All right. So. So that's what you got for the chassis on the sides. Man, I, I think I, once again, I think I'm just going to stick with the stock chassis. Plus, you save some money by just saving it. Unless you just want to, you know, give the intakes like a secondary uh, color. That goes with whatever secondary color you go with. I think we're going to go with like green and black. Because that's what I'm mainly using on the channel now. Blue's been kind of sort of retired. I guess. <laughs> exhausts. Alright, so all the exhaust options. For the Comet SR. So I kind of like the, the twin exhaust. That looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see. The angled dual exhausts are not bad either. I'm not really feeling the ovals. Are, are that but like these two are these two are not bad but I mean the stock ones are fine too once again it's really about how much money you're willing to spend all right so if you want to add a little fender action you can it does add a little something to the car though I mean it's only eight hundred and fifty five dollars so it's relatively cheap and I think it does add a little something something to the common SR uh, hood options okay we got a uh, secondary hood and we got the carbon hood and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave uh, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Then again, I mean, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think I kind of like just a plain old boring hood. I think it works for this car. Okay, so plates. You know, if you have different plates, you know, you can always put your uh, vanity plates on there. All right, there we go. We've got vanity plates. Roof options. All right, we got a primary. we got a secondary roof. We can stick with uh, that. I mean, I'm just going to probably just stay with that. It's fine. And, you know, the mod options are not too expensive for the Comet SR. Not too expensive at all. All right, so we got skirt options too. Let's check out her skirts. Uh, once again, I mean, a lot of this is just variations of the same design, the same like types of bumpers, same types of rear bumpers, as well as skirt options and the roof options, just like different color options. So there's nothing really dramatic that stands out when it comes to the various mods for the Comet SR. All right, but at least there's you know some options like for Okay, so it, it comes with a stock spoiler. Now, the question is, like, the traction's already maxed out. So, wow, that is, a, like, a maxed out traction. So, the question is, does this thing even need a spoiler with how track... I mean, chances are it probably still needs one, but for some reason, it automatically comes with a uh, spoiler. And I don't think that it causes any improvement one way or the other, but I mean, if you just want to go for like aesthetically a different look, like one of these bigger uh, spoilers or a, a slightly smaller spoiler, I mean, that's that's entirely your call. But I mean, once again, I mean, the stock spoiler is fine. I think it, it works for this car. I mean, unless you just want to do something like that or you just go with that. But I mean, then again, it depends on what you prefer. And that's what it looks like without a uh, spoiler. But the problem is, I don't know if that's going to have a negative effect on traction if you don't have a spoiler on this car. I mean, it's possible it has downforce. Uh, I'm sure Bruffy's already looked into that, so be sure and check out his channel. 
He's most likely tested the uh, lap speed and the top speed for the common SR already. But for now, I'm just going to keep the regular stock spoiler because, you know, it came with the car. All right, so what do we got next? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so the only thing else we have to check is the, uh, let's see, the respray. Now, there's no libraries. This car has no library options, FYI. Which, you know, some people don't really care for libraries. And some people like to, you know, put something different, a different style, different look to her. So that's the uh, primary. And obviously the secondary is going to have control over the uh, some of the uh, different mod options that uh, we went over, like the bumpers, the skirts, the hoods, the uh, roof. So you just have to imagine uh, it changing. Just just imagine it. Yes, yes. Use your imagination because I'm not going to buy it because I'm cheap. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the common SR. And, you know, it has some uh, mod options, some customization. Not a ton, but it does have a little bit. So you're able to like do some like really cool like primary secondary combinations depending on what bumpers, what skirts, what hoods or roofs you go with or what uh, little uh, uh, chassis. So I mean that's that's not bad, but at the same time I think it's probably fine just going with like two colors like the stock and like a, a primary color of your choosing. I think it'll work just fine, but it really just depends on what you prefer if you plan on buying the Comet SR. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to take it for a quick spin around the map, and then we're going to go back to the garage, and we're going to do the side-by-side -side comparison, stat-wise, between the Common SR and the Pariah. Oh, by the way, if you have buyer's remorse, you buy this car, and you put some upgrades on it like I did, and you're like, you know what, I'm just not really feeling the Common SR. Well, I'm going to get maybe just under $800,000 back for the car, so that's how much uh, you will get back. It's not too bad. I mean, well, the base price was $1.1 million, so you have to also add all the money I spent uh, for the various upgrades, armor, engine, brakes, and all the other mods. So for what I spent on this car, I will get just under $800,000 back for the Comet SR. All right, time for a side-by-side -side stat comparison between the Comet SR and the Pariah. All right, so here we go. At the top of the list... Let's see, it looks like actually the Comet SR might have a little bit better traction. They have equal acceleration, and the Comet SR has better braking and better traction. So, let's see, Comet SR, better top speed, better braking, better traction than the Pariah, and acceleration is about the same. So, I really don't know how trustworthy the stats are in this game. That's one thing I've noticed is that... You know, the stats on one vehicle would make it seem like, if you go by the stats themselves, that it might be badass and awesome possum. But is the uh, Comet SR better than the Pariah? I, I just don't know. I mean, th this is currently the uh, king or queen of the sports cars. It's such a good sports car that some people wonder, why is it a sports car? It's a little too good for the sports class, I think. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to insult the sports class, but anyways... It kind of leaves the poor elegy back there in the dust. All right, so anyways, your thoughts regarding the uh, stats. Do you think the stats really matter whenever we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison? Or do you think that just, like, Rockstar may have issues with the stats and they're not entirely accurate with the uh, comparison here? I don't know. It's a good question. But I'm sure Bruffy's already tested uh, the, you know, the Comet SR versus uh, all the other sports cars. And, uh, like I said, go check out his channel. And I'm sure he'll give you a much better idea about how the uh, Comet SR stacks up in lap time as well as top speed. Final thoughts regarding the Comet SR. Driving around the map, I actually thoroughly enjoy driving this car around. It uh, has very good traction, extremely good traction. I mean, I don't know if there's a car in the game that has better traction because it's completely maxed out on the Comet SR. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't know if that was an accident on Rockstar's part, but I mean, this is a fun car to drive, and it's kind of fast. So I, I really don't know, right as of right now, I don't know how it's going to stack up against the Pariah. I, I can't imagine it beating the Pariah. I just can't. I mean, but then again, there's always a possibility. I just don't really know. But if you're into uh, this look, if you like uh, Porsches, if you, you know, have a few uh, Fisters in your collection and you want one more Fister, you know, to go with your Comet, Comet Retro, 
and Comet Safari, then I, I guess the Comet SR is probably going to be joining that along with the uh, 811. You know, the uh, supercar of the Fister family. So, yeah, I mean, I like the look of the Comet SR. I like the fact that, you know, it has really good stats. Decent braking, uh, good top speed, uh, maxed out acceleration along with maxed out traction. Uh, there's not that many mod options for it, obviously. And there's no libraries, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because, you know, not everyone's into libraries and that's understandable. So, I mean, while the, the customization, while the mod options are so-so, are there's at least a few that you can choose from. Uh, some of them are ma mainly just, like, different color variations of, like, the bumpers, the uh, hoods, as well as the roof options, the skirts, etc. And uh, along with a few spoiler options. It's interesting, once again, that the uh, spoiler is automatic on this car, which could very well mean that the Comet SR actually has downforce. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm sure Bruffy's already tested that out once again. But that's my feelings about the Comet SR. If it's not the top sports car in the game, if Pariah is still number one, then I can imagine that the Comet SR is probably, at the very least, in the top three or the top five. So I think that the Comet SR is definitely going to be, hopefully, a competitive sports car because uh, we really need a car that can compete in races against the Pariah, even if the Pariah is still numero uno. So, there you go. My thoughts, my views, my opinions regarding the Comet SR, now available in Grand Theft Auto Online for $1.1 million. Let me know your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding the Comet SR below in the comment section. All right, so we're going to do a real quick bonus test with Stunt in the City. So here's the side-by-side -side stats once again between the Pariah, the Elegy, and, of course, the Comet SR. In case you were wondering, those are the stats. So, can the Comet SR make the infamous jump that the Revolter failed time and time again? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Moment of truth, here we go. Can the Comet SR make the jump? The Revolter couldn't. Nope, it kept dropping like a rock. But will the Comet SR face the same fate as the Revolter? Let's see. And she did it! The Comet SR has made the infamous in the city jump, which means she definitely qualifies for being a sports car. So uh, good job, Comet SR. At least you're not a fucking revolter. 